and a Steve Breston. Um, a lot's been made about the running game on this team. I mean, it's you got Peyton Hillis, you got Jamal Charles. It definitely looks like a team that's built to run. But I mean, there's guys can catch the ball too. Is this a, a balanced team or just a you know a running team and then you pass when you can? Or I mean, how how's I think this we can't be balanced. I think we just gotta we just gotta feed off each other. You know, at the end of the run game, uh, like we do have, we got some very good backs back there. You know, Peyton and Jamal, and you know, they can make things happen. As receivers, you know, we're not getting the ball. We have to block for them, things like that. So, I mean, you as a receiver, you're, you're happy that you do have a run game like that because it opens things up on the outside, you know, and vice Definitely. versa. And the outside opens up things for the run game. So. I mean, you, you never. We, we have good backs. You know that you you got potential to get a lot of. The potential, hours. right, is there for sure. Yeah. But this year, it seems like I mean, a lot of people were excited about. You got Boss, you got Moyaki, you got you, you got Baldwin, you got Bo. Now you got Dexter out there. It seems like it's a lot more diverse with the passing game. So there's a potential there for this to really take off any direction you want it to it seems like you know yeah, you, you, you know what they say about potential you know what they say about yeah. potential. so i mean it's uh you know it's exciting to have all those weapons and things like that but you know you also have uh, as a group we got to work together you know, right. we got to understand our assignments and go out there and you know do our jobs and you know let everything fall into place you know just you know just having that so many weapons you know is it could be a gift and a curse sometimes. So as a, as a unit, you just got to do your job. You know, whether you're not getting the ball, you got to block. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, as a team, you just want to go out there and get a win. And that's the key, right? Because with so many so many tools in the toolbox, it seems like there's more. Um, you could overthink it. So if you work together as a team, then nobody's really concerned about who gets what or does what more than the other guy because it's a team effort. Yeah, right? I think it's a, you know, we, we're doing a good job at that. You know, I think, uh, you know, everybody's, you know, has one goal and, you know, going out there to get a win. And I think even within our group, we understand that we do have a lot of potential playmakers within our group at the wide receiver group. Right. So, and, you know, one thing I, you know, I always, I always know that, you know, it, especially with the receiving group, it's like um, you open up a lot of things when each individual does their job. You know? It's not like, and you know that, you know, I might draw the covers here and with Louts, you know, JB and, you know, Bo or Dex, or they might draw covers which allows me to get open. So you work off each other. So even though he catches the ball, you know that you did a part by, you know, drawing certain things within the defense. Um, Cornell, this is, it's been said this team's a young team. I don't think anybody's over 30. And uh, it's it's technically it's a younger team, even though some guys have been here for a while and they're becoming those leaders and vets. But is Cornell, uh, from what you can tell me, what kind of words of wisdom has he passed on to this younger team and some of these young guys about you know the Atlanta Falcons and and this this first game um, and winning a, you know at home, uh, hopefully winning at home, you know. You know, coach. You know, coach is very knowledgeable you know, about this game. You know, yeah. he's taking all his words and things like that, and you know. You know, we are a young team, but you have to understand a lot of people. You know, a lot of people on this team, you know, played in some big games. You know, you know two years ago they went to the playoffs. You know, these yeah. people that been to the playoffs made Super Bowl runs. You know, even though we're a young team, we experienced some things that you know older guys. You know, like you know, been in playoffs, playoff runs, Super Bowl runs. You know, some people got Super Bowl rings and things like that. So we understand the being what it takes to win games, what it takes to be in that type of situation. So I mean. <laughs> But uh, it's just, I think we're, we're, we're also very knowledgeable about this game and, you know, how hard we need to work and what it takes to win in this league. Right, right. So, one last question. 12th man, Arrowhead, Sunday. It's perfect game game one, right, to play at Arrowhead in front of the, the, home, the home fans? And always. It's always, you know, playing. Regardless if it's game two or game three, it's always fun to play at home. You know, and it's even special when it's game one at your home stadium. You don't got to travel. You're playing in front of your fans. And that alone just, you know, raises the intensity of the game. And, you know, you feel the energy and you want to go out there and get the, you know, get the win. You know, not for only for just the team, but, you know, for the uh, you know, Chiefs fans in the community. Yes. Hey, best of luck to you, man. Thank you.